Horse teeth, unlike our teeth, are called hypsodontic teeth. So what that means is that they slowly erupt each year. They erupt three to four millimeters a year. This is the incisors. There are 12 of these. And what they use these teeth for is they're used for grabbing the grass and starting to what we call prehending it. So they grab the food to move further back into their tongue. So horses eat in what we call a power stroke motion. So they eat in a figure eight like this and they move the jaw back and forth. So I'm not quite coordinated to do it, but it's a back and forth and side to side. The upper teeth are further set further apart than lower teeth. They're uh, separated by a quarter to half inch. And so horses that develop points will develop points along the cheeks on the top and points along the tongue on the bottom. The baby teeth are really soft. So I can float a baby's mouth and like, 12 minutes. Incisor abnormalities. So we can have a slant where the, the teeth align like this. We can have a smile and we can have a frown. And so all those different abnormalities can be corrected with dentistry. So you'll take the elevator and you'll slide it along the surface of the tooth and you'll kind of rock the gum off the tooth. Equine dentistry has actually come a long way in the last 15 to 20 years. So now we're starting to fill cavities and do root canals and so on and so forth. So we've come a long way. So the take home message is a lot of horses are living into their 30s. Uh, if we want them to live successful long lives, we've got to intervene on an annual basis and early.